Hello, and welcome to our course on HTML5. My name is William, and I'll be your instructor for the course. So, what is HTML5? HTML5 is the latest version of the HTML specification. So that poses another question. What is the HTML specification? Well, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, which is one of the primary technologies used to make websites. HTML is used on computers all over the world. And from basic internet websites to increasingly rich online applications, HTML is pretty much everywhere. So moving on, the first thing I would like to talk about is who this course is for. If you have some experience with HTML, either by making a simple static website or doing some light editing, then this course is for you. I'll be discussing the basics of HTML5 markup in a manner that is clear and concise. I will be assuming that you have a basic understanding of the Windows and or Macintosh operating systems. I will also be assuming that you know how to navigate a desktop, use a keyboard, use a computer mouse, and understand other computer basics. I will not be assuming that you're an HTML expert or at all familiar with HTML beyond the very basics. The accompanying folder to these tutorials contains all of the respective documents files, and other media needed to complete the course. However, there will be a few additional requirements needed to follow along. The first is a modern web browser. I'm going to be using Google Chrome for this tutorial. You can download Chrome from the following address. The second requirement is a code text editor. I'm going to be using an editor called Sublime Text. If you would also like to use Sublime Text, you can download it at the following address. At the end of each video, I'm going to be summarizing the material into a series of key points to help solidify your understanding. At the end of the entire course, there's going to be a 25 quiz questionnaire to test your understanding of the material that you've learned. And with that, I hope you enjoy this series and find it educational. And that's pretty much it, so let's get started.